all right guys so today is july 22nd 2023 so saturday and i'm going to be doing a video tour of my astrophysics 175 starfire edf this video is copyright star astronomer 2023 all rights reserved So the reason for this video is a contemplation of a possible sale or sale down the road and I always thought it was better to uh, also have with pictures video especially since you have YouTube and other sources where you can put a video up to showcase a product better and have descriptions than what you can do with just um, pictures alone. As you see it here, the dew shield has been extended out. So, let me take the lens cap off, retract the dew shield to reveal the most important part of this OTA, the lens. Now this lens has never been touched. The front side has never been touched. So I'm going to try to show you exactly what that looks like. You can see all those knife edges that are machined into the tube. That's why I've got this in the shade to more, uh, to, to better show the lens than if it was out into the sun. I don't think it would show this as well. Again, the lens has never been touched with any uh, with, with anything as far as cloth or anything. And here we have the lens cover. Very heavy aluminum. As you would imagine for a scope like this. And as you can see, the felt the integrity of everything is in beautiful shape. This is serial number 28. Let me try to get a better view of all those knife edges cut in there. Let me give you a bit of background. This telescope was received on November 1st, 2012. My first light was November 3rd of 2012. And as I said, it's serial number 28. To be clear, uh, a buddy of mine was on the list. And I think he said it was about 15 year wait list. He got notified or he found out that there might be a resurgence, that they might come back with this. And um, he told me about it. And then he got actually contacted to purchase the scope. And at the time, he just couldn't swing the cost. So I said I'd take it. So basically, he received it. And then, of course, I was at his house when it was delivered. And I took ownership of this beauty then. Again, November 1 of 2012. And as with anything astrophysics, anybody that's ever owned one, uh, you just know the uh, precision and the utmost in machining. I'm a very, very, very picky person. And when it comes to certain things, I just got to have perfection. 
no two ways about it and um, uh, this is a meticulous piece of equipment what I'm gonna do here just for the heck of it is uh, pull the dew shield out you see how butter smooth it is and it does have some I guess flocking paper whatever you want to call it inside here it does have a locking thumb screw here to keep it from sliding as you can see the decal is intact on both sides and um, it's got these nice small little stainless screws around and I believe what that does is probably take this ring off but again when you look at everything the machine everything is executed just perfectly on this scope and I do want to say that I believe this scope to be in pristine condition and we're gonna go over it in more closer detail to show everything let's start at the front here's your locking thumb screw and so we're going to take a look at the paint absolutely no scratches no dents Here we see the section, the dew, dew shield's been extracted all the way out between the rings and there we'll take a look at the paint. And here's the other side. So the next thing we want to look at then in order going back towards the eyepiece are the rings these are the original rings that came with the scope obviously the rings will go with the scope absolutely no scratches nicks nothing in fact if you know and seen any of my videos I always place, so this, is, this is the latest edition as of a couple years ago, I did a video on it, the handle. I never found it good to take the tube out of the rings. It always was maintained in these rings. So from the day that the rings were put on, the dovetail plate, and then the, the, the scope put into the rings, it was never ever taken out. And here we have the other ring that is closest to the focuser and also included will be this handle arrangement this is very nice again I did a video on it uh, you can take it off if it's if you don't want it it comes off very sturdy it works great um, feel free to see the video that I did on my YouTube channel if you need anything further on that but this will be included in the sale so now let's take a look at the rings from the other side here you see the beautifully machined locking knob. Here's the front front ring closest to the uh, view shield. Here we see the back ring close obviously to the focuser. Also included will be what you see here the uh, D style Las Mandy dovetail and then you have some risers here before it gets anchored into the rings those will also come with any possible sale at what point in time if I sell this 
and the width from end to end on these rings is 16 and 7 eighths. All right, let's look at the paint on this side between the rings. Then on the opposite side, Next, we will take a look at the, from the ring closest to the focuser, from that point on back. Looking at the paint, again, absolutely no scratches, no dents on any surface of this fine instrument. And here we have the opposite side. Also included will be this accessory that allows the use of a finder scope to be put on. And you can, uh, there's uh, screws on the other side so you can put this on either side. Now to the focuser end. As you can see they have this massive uh, transition here. So that it goes from the two diameter down into their four inch focuser. Now while we've got that back side off, that adapter, let's take a look inside. Look at all those knife edges. Unbelievable. Okay boys and girls. So let's look at the rest. It's got this captain's wheel. I'm not going to loosen it up because I've got this lined up. I like to have the uh, focuser here lined up parallel with the uh, saddle plate. You loosen that up. So for photography, when you want to align, say you're doing like uh, the Andromeda Galaxy, and you want to put it edge long to fit the field of view, <clears throat> instead of having to rotate the camera, you can rotate this massive focuser end and align the camera to the image in the scope. Now it does have this locking button. Loosen that up. That now allows you to use the focuser. And it's also, I don't know if it's a 10 to 1, I'm sure it's a 10 to 1, so that you can have fine focus or coarse focus. And of course, this is a rack and pinion. It's got scales on the top. There's your lock. And if you take these thumb screws and loosen them up, You can pull this out. Beautifully machined as the whole instrument. In fact guys, that's the first time I've had that piece off since I first got it. And as you can see, it's got this brass ring that clamps down on that. And here's another look. I'm always amazed. Look at the beauty of that. The machining. You see in the focus are all the knife edges. And then we go back further and you can see them into the tube of the scope.
And let's take a look at another cool item here. Is the extension tube that they give you. Or I guess you just call it an extension. It's not really a tube. So you take that off. And then you get this massive piece right here. Same design. Has the brass locking ring. Knife edges there. That will fit in here like that. And then, of course, that will fit in here like that. Also included will be this field flattener, never been used. Now, <clears throat> you may remember I did a video a while back where when I was taking this out of, uh, where I have all my um, accessories for telescope stuff, I happened to take it out and took the cap off and there was some clouding on the lens. And uh, make a long story short, Astrophysics thought it was something to do with the paint. Uh, internally and they fixed it Roland cleaned it took care of it for me no issues so here's the cap it's got the felt here that gives the tension around the outside here you see virtually pristine 175 flattener f8.3 A little piece of dust there I got to blow that off but again this has never been used I don't do photography that cover screws on So again, this will also go with the scope. The approximate length with the dew shield fully closed is 51 and a quarter inches to the back side right here on the focuser. Well guys, let me know what you think. Is this a pristine version of uh, this 175 Starfire EDF from Astrophysics? And uh, I believe that this does aid in uh, a sale of a scope when you can go over and show things that pictures just can't and even a description can't. Uh, so that's why I did this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think.